Um, but it's like other studios are much bigger, you know, and, and that's because they just have the money to be much bigger. And I really think that ArenaNet suffers, that Guild Wars 2 suffers from not having a subscription model. And I'm not saying that the game should be um, subscription based, like the entry into it. You know, it's it's a, the base game is free to play and then you have to buy the expansions and you have to buy the living world. Now, two things I would change or one thing that I would change about that particular model is I would, um, you know, if you I would make i would you know whenever new expansion releases like end of dragons is releasing now bundle all the previous living worlds with the expansions you know i mean i understand that that may be like a lot of money for them to like that they might lose on but it's just very confusing i see i see posts about it on reddit all the time where people are very confused on what it is they really purchased they don't know what they bought you know they, they they're like oh well i bought the expansions but now it's telling me like i can't play season one what's going on with that and it's like okay well please season one isn't playable right that would be easy to explain but then it's also like well season two you also have to purchase each episode separately from the expansion heart of thorns so in order to get the story for the first expansion like you bought the expansions and that's fine but now you have to pay money for that like i would just bundle with it you know or or make it like a combo deal like like make it cheaper for them combo it with the living world like make make like a like a package that they could buy like a package deal or something make it like ten dollars more and then give them season two uh and and season three or whatever with heart of thorns and then and then uh you know it, it, or whatever I, I don't know how they look because i think you can can you buy them like separate i think you have to buy them separately the expansions right it's like so each expansion i would bundle like the the um expansions maybe that come with it and i would honestly make season two completely free because honestly compared to the other seasons season or season season two completely free season two was like not that great it wasn't really that good. It was just like a lot of text to read. There wasn't a lot of like stuff going on. We only got like two maps that are accessible anyways now in the base game. So it's just like, what's the point? It's not like you're getting new maps. You're not really getting any. Uh, there was a couple of we had like with weapon sets and, and a couple armor pieces here and there. But it wasn't anything that I would be like, uh, it's worth it to like pay money for that. So I would bundle season to, or I would I would have season two be completely free, and then I would have um, a season three go with Heart of Thorns and season four with Path of Fire, and then Ice Fruit Saga is like a separate thing, um, or whatever you know. But it's just it's just very it's just very confusing the way that is. And I would also give a subscription thing. I talked about this a lot, and I'm I'm thinking about making a video about it because I, I really feel like Guild Wars Two could benefit from having a subscription model. Meaning that you can get extra stuff like I always think about this When I look at other MMOs when I when I look at MMOs like um, ESO or even Star Wars the Old Republic which uh, released around the same time that Guild Wars 2 did um, The one thing that people always say is like oh just a just the material storage or just the uh, because then um but yeah, they all, all talk about the like convenience. The convenience stuff that you get is worth it, right? For ESO specifically, like the material storage is great. Like that's a huge reason. So we already have like material storage expanders and it maxes out at 2000. Why not have a subscription that gives you, beside other stuff that you can get for it, like, um, I don't know, like, you know, it's a monthly subscription of like $10, let's say, and it gives you like 800 gems, um, but it also gives you other stuff. So it's like, you know, you pay $10 for 800 gems, and in the subscription model, you would get the 800 gems plus other stuff, you know? And uh, like I said, there's like, there's, um, what about the material stores expanding that by 500 doesn't matter where you are so if i have for example a thousand right now in my material expansion um 
giving me the ability to have 1500 or if my max i'm maxed out at 2000 then i get 2500 extra mid like an extra two sets of material storage like that I, I i can guarantee you there is a ton of people that would probably go for that that would go for that you know that that would be like yeah no like i want that i want to have that because i'm maxed out on all these things or i always look for these materials or i always have like that much of it and i you know i don't know what to do with it or whatever you know it's like um dragonite ore and, and like all those things you know the the bloodstone dust i don't have any on me but you know those things like we collect a crap ton of those and it would just be nice to have that. oh i can equip that uh, it's just one power anyway so um but like having that plus like 800 gems that you get a month for like 10 bucks that would already be like so worth it to so many people and i always think back of the um the um the requisition things that they do once in a while the the ones that give you like for like four weeks in a row like every week you get something sent to you and every week it gets more expensive as time goes on and yeah and they like kind of like entice you to get it as early as possible because that's the cheapest price you get those sell like crazy because the the, the the amount of stuff that you get and and the like the value of it is huge and they could do something like this every month i don't know why they don't do that every month like why don't you do that it, 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 i i feel like people get that crap all the time i get them every single time every single time first week straight up because it is a really good deal and it's 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 a really good value and it doesn't cost them anything because it's digital crap they don't give you anything physically they don't do anything it literally is just like these items that you get in a video game right and it's just oh yeah we can give you extra of this you know whatever like there's so many ways that they could do this to make this work to give themselves money the problem is that, you know, they're trying to make money with releasing all these skins and all these stuff, all these things. But people are always like sitting there and they're like, not sure whether they want to get that. Is it worth it spending $10 on the skin or whatever? If I'm subscribed and I like maybe don't know anything that I want to buy that month and I save it for another month and I have like 1600 and and you know i can maybe exchange a little bit of gold i can get like a really cool mount skin like the new mount skin the, you know the new the new synergetics like do whatever oh god yeah this happened to me the other day something's going on the black lighting trading thing the um is that still available the uh, synergetics like um i have to actually look at it yeah cyber the uh, cyber scale for example right that's 2000 so it's like that's like three months worth so what if for like three months there's nothing i want to buy and then the third month all of a sudden there's something i want to get then i have the ability to do that right there like and i'm like oh okay cool like you know but i was subscribed for three months that's 30 bucks that they make off of me already but i can guarantee you there's people right now that are not willing to spend like 30 bucks on this right now to get this you know they don't want to spend that money They don't they don't want to do that but if i'm just subscribed and i just let it sit there because i i do that with a lot of subscription i talked about this with final fantasy final fantasy i was subscribed for like a whole year and only played like three days out of the year they collected every month money from me and i didn't because i was like ah oh, you know maybe i'll go back and play it or whatever you know and and i do that with a lot of things and i think a lot of people do that as well you know, if you give them a good value for it, if you give them a good reason to do that, you can you can have a subscription. And it could just be for convenience. It doesn't have to be for, like, access to games. Or they could have it, for example, if you're a subscriber, like, this is what ESO does. If you're a subscriber, you have access to all the DLC, right? So they could have it, like, subscribers having access to all of the Living World and Ice Fruit Saga. They don't have to buy it, but they have to be subscribed in order to get into it. Like, why not? Why can't they do that? Whereas, like, in Guild Wars 2, I'm subscribed. I'm still getting my gems every month, whether I play or not. I still get my, like, 800 gems and my, like, you know, whatever other stuff they want to send me. You know, if there's, like, other stuff they want to bundle in there or whatever, you know. And I can, I, and then I get to have my material storage and I get to have you know whatever other stuff they want to give me um 
like that still feels like like i said i can be subscribed for a year and not play guild wars 2 and then log in after a year and have like you know almost 10,000 gems at my disposal to do what i want with and buy all new things <laughs> right it's like i don't think they think about that enough no attack yeah yeah okay cool No, I know. I'm kidding. I'm I'm kidding. And I don't mean you. No, I don't. I know. <laughs> I know you're watching and I know you. I, I know that a lot of people agree with me on my streams on my stream specifically. Most people always agree with the stuff that I have to say. You know, it's just as yes, they have been advertising more. I've been seeing a lot of advertisement lately for End of Dragons. I will say that I've been going on websites and I see Guild Wars 2. Um, you know, I, I see adver uh, adverts for, for all kinds of uh, end of dragon stuff like it's great and all you know that's cool but uh, you know you, you gotta kind of like squeeze a little bit of money out of the people that have been playing for years right because i know so many people that tell me they're like yeah i never i bought the initial game and like and, and i bought the expansions but i've never spent a dime on anything because i can just get gems with with gold so i just farm for gold with my guild like i do raids and then like i buy whatever i want with that it's like, oh, okay, well, all right, you know, it's like, I'm not saying that those, that particular person would be subscribing or whatever, but maybe, maybe, maybe just out of, you know, having that extra material storage, you know, obviously this is a person that plays a lot that wants to like continuously play the game. They want to, um, maybe maybe they want that extra 500 material storage and they'll subscribe every month because they're rating every week right they're, they spend a ton of time in the game and they have so many of their materials that they want more space in their material storage so they subscribe to that i don't know <laughs> it's just these ideas that i have that I, I just i wish like arena net specifically would like just listen to what i have to say for free to like there's free to play accounts maybe that would even do it maybe before they bought the expansions or something <clears throat> where they maybe like want to subscribe for a month uh just to play like season two right like if you if you give them access to living world stuff they would subscribe for a month that's 10 bucks that arena made right there just to see if they like season two or if they want to like continue with it or whatever you know have access to the like other stuff left with like okay all these questions or whatever so yes have they done a better job at communicating yes but there's so many things they could do like there are certain games that i play like even on my phone uh there there, there there's games that i play where they're like oh we have a survey we want you to ask we want to ask you questions about our recent release and we want to hear what you think about it and that's cool to me like why don't we have like like uh, genshin genshin impact does it where you answer the surveys right you answer the surveys and and you tell them what you liked and what you didn't like why don't we have surveys in more games like give me like a hundred gems for filling out a survey right or like 200 gems or whatever to fill up for filling out a survey like people would do it right people would would go ahead and 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 fill those out and then you would have answers directly like you could have something in game you could have like an in-game thing that pops up and they don't have to like go on a website there's so many people that don't use reddit that don't use the forums that don't like they don't they don't use that stuff right they ask for feedback but i feel like a lot of people don't give feedback because they don't go on the websites because people stay away from the forums and people hate reddit so they stay away from that stuff right and it's just like okay give me an opportunity to to give you feedback or g give give you you know give people in general the opportunity to give feedback um your gem store and stuff but it's like you need to actually look at like expanding on ways that you can make more money you know and the first thing to do that is to ask your customers how they would like to spend money on the game like ask us ask us questions how how do we want to spend money on the game they don't even ask us they just shove the the shit in the in the gem store and and make it as shiny as possible in order to hope that oh you know you want it because it's shiny right that's the only thing they do it's like oh man like there's so many other ways you could make money with this and it's like it's in you know i say like 
making money like wh why why is you just focus on them making money because i want them to be able to expand i want them to have more developers so that they can make the game then they can make the end game that we all ask for they can work on fifty thousand different end games all at once because they have more than enough people imagine arena net was four times the size they are right now they could make four times the end game that we get right now so it wouldn't just be strikes it would be raids dungeons uh fractals we could have all those things they could have proper pvp teams like people working on pvp balance working on making more pvp maps pvp modes you know they could bring they could actually have a team that works on stronghold and actually making stronghold a proper thing they could work have more people working on the alliance update actually getting that out you know it's like they need to think about those things and they don't do that it's like they work on an expansion in order to sell boxes that's what makes them the most money that's what's always made them the most money i get it um but it's super short-sighted because once that expansion comes out your sales are going to plummet and you're gonna have to look in other ways to make money where i feel like what i'm proposing would make a consistent stream of money it would make a consistent like way for them to like get an influx of money every month and it's a, it's a monthly thing you know this is not like every two years of um like that for example is also another evidence of people wanting to get good deals people are always wanting to get a good deal so if you tell them like hey 10 bucks a month gets you 800 gems plus 1000 in material storage plus uh you you know you get access to this and this and this and maybe even like crazy let to call me crazy uh, another lounge Right, we already have the Mistlock Sanctuary. What if we can get an exclusive lounge that's just for subscribers? Just a subscriber can you get access to it. It's the only time that you can access this if you're a subscriber or something. You know, it's 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 nothing new. You can get others you can get other areas that you can go to. Um, but this one is the only one that you can go to if you're subscribed. So if if you don't have if you don't have one, for example, if I don't have the Mistlock Sanctuary or any of the other stuff, you know, if I don't have the um, the Lily of the Allen invitation or whatever, like any of those, you know, the the uh, the Lava Lounge Pass, like any of them. If I just subscribe to the game, I get one for free. I get I get it in there. It doesn't cost them anything. It's a it's a fucking convenience thing. But they get ten dollars out of me for that, you know, every month for me to be able to access that. Can I buy my own? Yeah, I could, you know, I get one month, I get my gems and I can buy Mistlock Sanctuary if I want that rather. You know, I can say, oh, okay, well, now I don't need that anymore and I have lost a subscription. But guess what? I've subscribed for a month. I don't know. It's just these ideas that I have where I'm the stuff that we want. From them. It's like imagine ArenaNet had the capability of doing all those end games and like properly actually do them. You know, actually sit down and make raids. Actually sit down and make really good strikes and make really good um, fractals and, you know, and, and work on those things. Actually have a team that's dedicated, a team of like 50 to 100 people that's dedicated just to PvP. That would be phenomenal. Do you know how many times you would get a PvP update? Like how, how many times you would get that? But, you know, they need the money for that. They need money to do that. So...